Hello and welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of some of the top technology news stories from across the globe. In this episode, we bring you the latest on Toyota's and Uber's partnership, the UK's plans to replace the EU's Galileo space project, and Trump's criticism of Google. For this month's Hot Topics interview, we spoke to EY's Olivier Wolf about tech trends and M&A activity in the sector. First though, here are your top international headlines. Japanese car manufacturer Toyota is to invest $500 million in Uber and expand a partnership to develop self-driving cars. According to the firm, the joint initiative will involve the mass production of autonomous vehicles that would be deployed on Uber's ride-sharing network. The partnership has been described as a way for both companies to catch up with rivals in the hotly contested driverless car market. The deal would value Uber at approximately $72 billion despite its mounting losses. UK Prime Minister Theresa May has announced a multi-million pound satellite project in a bid to develop a UK rival to the EU's Galileo programme. Expecting Britain to be frozen out of the EU's project following Brexit, May has revealed that £92 million would be spent on the alternative system. She noted the rival was not an idle threat and Britain would refuse to be an end user of the current project. The issue has been a focal point of disagreement between Westminster and Brussels. Last, but by no means least, Donald Trump has accused Google of rigging search results, claiming the technology giant gave greater prominence to negative stories about him while actively suppressing positive articles published by conservative news outlets. In a tweet written earlier this month, the US president claimed search results for Trump News only showed reports from fake news media with his arch nemesis CNN featuring quite heavily. Trump then went on to accuse the tech giant of controlling what we can and cannot see and warned it was a very serious situation which would be addressed. He also claimed that 96% of Google results were from the national left-wing media, adding this was very dangerous. That's it for your Global Tech News Roundup, but keep watching to see this month's Hot Topics interview. We spoke to Olivia Wall from EY about tech trends and M&A in the sector. Hi Olivia, thank you very much for joining us today. So when it comes to tech M&A, where are investors spending their time and money and why? Well, first of all, let me say they are spending a lot of time and a lot of money uh, in the tech sector. Uh, they, the investors uh, and acquirers have done more than 500 deals in the first half of 18. So 2018 could be the first year where we reach 1,000 M&A tech transactions worldwide. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are spending mo money and time in the sector and that, uh, I would say across all the sub, the sub segments within tech. Software is particularly uh, active at the moment and, and uh, we believe that will continue. You mentioned 2018 could be the year of the 1000th tech M&A transaction. Why do you think that is? It's been very active across the whole of the M&A sector because Corporate buyers have themselves been very active. They have large cash uh, reserves. They can see the growth coming from acquisition. So that's one driver. Mm -hmm. The second one is private equity, which has been very active for many years, but it, every year it's a bit more than the previous year. And private equity is particularly attracted to sectors such as software, which has good um, recurring revenue characteristics. And then in addition to all that, the venture capitalist market has also been very active. There is a lot of innovation in the tech sector and that will continue to attract investors. Are you seeing any differences in terms of what's happening globally and what is happening here in the UK? I don't think there is uh, that much difference. Uh, the level of activity is high globally and is high in the UK. Investors will be interested in good quality businesses, good quality technologies and they will make investments and acquisitions wherever they can find those businesses. What sectors within the technology space are driving M&A activity? Yes, so software has historically uh, been the most active and will, con will continue um, to be active. Um, I touched on the attractive characteristics of uh, software, mm -hmm. uh, particularly for PE. It's also just a very large and active part of, 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 of the tech business. Um, Clearly, it's not just about software. Uh, we see cybersecurity as a, a, a combination of software and services as being uh, also a very ac um, active sector. Clearly, cybersecurity is, is very high on the agenda of most companies yeah. um, in the world. And then thirdly, you've got new technologies such uh, within IoT in particular. 
and then clearly um, other new types of software activities around AI and um, robotic process automation in particular are, are also active. What's the opportunity for technology startups and scale-ups? Well, again, um, all across the sectors, there's innovation, uh, there is growth. The um, opportunities is investors are many more. So the VCs have been around for a long time, but there's now funds, more traditional private equity funds, who are prepared to invest earlier in the, in the cycle. Mm -hmm. So you effectively have more, more pools of money competing for, for startups. So it's all good news for people who are at the forefront of um, innovation. And finally, what are your predictions for the market? We see those trends continuing. Uh, we don't think uh, 2018 is, is, will be a peak year. We think some of the drivers to the market will continue. So there's continued uh, growth in the software market, continued innovations and new startups. So we think this deal activity will continue into 19 and 20. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. That's all for this episode. For more news, head over to www.uktech.news.